Christopher and welcome to Alt Arc where we offer an alternative perspective on all things architecture and design. Let's jump right into it because we have 50 architecture thesis topics and images to cover. Number 50, Biophilic Design and Healthcare Architecture, Creating Healing Environments. Number 49, Adaptive Reuse of Heritage Buildings, Converting Old Structures into Modern Spaces. Number 48, Sustainable Community Design, Developing Eco-Friendly Neighborhoods. Number 47, Vertical Greening, Designing Vertical Gardens for Urban Spaces. Number 46, developing a new approach to designing offices that prioritize collaboration and well being. 45, examining the use of green roofs and creating sustainable and environmentally conscious buildings. Forty-four. Designing a new approach to designing hotels that prioritize sustainability and wellness. 43. Investigating the impact of the built environment on air quality and indoor pollution. 42. Developing a new approach to designing multi-use buildings that prioritize sustainability and community engagement. 41. Examining the use of rain gardens in creating sustainable and environmentally conscious buildings. 40. Designing a new approach to community centers that prioritize inclusivity and accessibility. 39. Investigating the impact of the built environment on community development and social cohesion. 38. Developing a new approach to designing schools that prioritize outdoor learning and sustainability. 37. Examining the use of low-impact construction techniques in creating sustainable buildings. 36. Designing a new approach to residential buildings that incorporate renewable energy sources. 35. Investigating the impact of urban design on pedestrian safety and traffic flow. 34. Developing a new approach to designing affordable housing that prioritizes community and accessibility. 33. Examining the use of passive solar design in creating energy efficient buildings. Thirty-two. Designing a new typology of public restrooms that prioritize accessibility and sustainability. 31. Investigating the impact of the built environment on mental health and well being. 30. Developing a new approach to designing disaster resistant buildings. 29. Examining the use of geothermal systems in creating energy efficient and sustainable buildings. 28. Designing a new typology of workplace environments that prioritize collaboration and wellness. 27. Investigating the impact of the built environment on noise pollution and acoustics. 
26, Developing a New Approach to Designing Healthcare Facilities that Prioritize Patient Comfort and Wellness. Twenty-five, examining the use of prefabricated construction in creating sustainable and affordable housing. I just want to pause here for a moment and drop another link for you that you might find really helpful. It's up here. And let's go ahead and get right back to the video. Twenty-four, come up with a new approach to design multi-generational housing that prioritizes accessibility and community. 23. Investigating the impact of the built environment on water quality and water conservation. 22. Developing a new approach to designing urban parks and public spaces. 21. Examining the use of natural materials in creating sustainability and environmentally conscious buildings. 20. Designing a museum that incorporates technology and interactive exhibits. 19. Investigating the impact of the built environment on air quality and air pollution. 18. Developing a new approach to designing high-density housing that prioritizes affordability and community. 17. Creating a public library that incorporates technology and interactive spaces. 16. Examining the role of architecture in promoting social and cultural diversity. 15. Designing a mixed-use development that prioritizes urban agriculture and food production. 14. Developing a new typology of office buildings that prioritize collaboration and innovation. 13. Investigating the impact of landscape design on human behavior and well-being. 12. Examining the use of biophilic design in promoting health and well-being in the built environment. 11. Creating a sports and recreation center that prioritizes accessibility and inclusive design. 12. Now we're down to our last 10. 10. Designing a school campus that incorporates outdoor learning spaces and sustainable technologies. 9. Developing a new approach to designing multifamily housing that prioritizes affordability and community. 8. Investigating the relationship between the built environment and human behavior. 7. Designing a transit-oriented development that prioritizes walking and sustainable transportation options. 6. Creating a community center for the elderly that promotes social interaction and wellness. 5. Designing an architecture that integrates renewable energy sources and it harnesses the power of nature. 4. Examining the use of modular construction and creating adaptable and sustainable housing. 3. Developing a new typology of co-working spaces that prioritize wellness and creativity. 2. 
investigate the impact of building orientation and form on thermal comfort and energy use in hot, humid climates. And last but not least, number one, designing a sustainable housing complex with a focus on green roofs and rainwater harvesting. If you liked the video, please like the video and subscribe down below if you want to see future content just like this. Over there are two architecture videos that I think you'll really enjoy. And if you want to support the channel further, you can visit my Patreon. You can get a lot of cool architecture related benefits and your name gets featured in your videos like these people right here. Regardless though, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.